that many music majors, but I'll try to contribute about my creative process as far as um, you know, coming up with ideas for composing songs. Um, it wasn't up until this year that I actually started venturing into trying to write my own music. Um, I mean, I make a lot of music with other musicians, but it's never been, I've never really had a genuine process where I sat down and, you know, like, thought about inspirations and stuff that made me, you know, write my own music. So I had a class called Transcription and Analysis, and the first semester we were just, you know, transcribing solos, which was, you know, listening to other people's improvised solos and writing them out and then taking, you know, devices that they used to make the music that they made and, you know, in a spontaneous event and try to apply it to ourselves. And then the second year, we started analyzing their compositional, um, you know, devices. And one that I thought was really cool and I think you guys could probably benefit from is the fact that we live in a city with many different shapes as far as uh, buildings go, like if you look out of your dorm and there's no reason why you couldn't look out of your dorm and see a building and get inspired from even a building. You know, it may sound a little far-fetched, but if you sit down and try to think of how you can apply your art to what you see, the contrast, um, the colors, and the shades and all that stuff that you see visually, um, there's no way that as a performer, you know, we can't. Uh, use it as a device to write our own music. So, for example, like if I looked out of the Terra, you know, you would see like buildings like this, and then one may have a point, it comes down, and another one in the middle, right? So that just looks like shapes to the eye. But as a musician, you know, if I'm thinking this is going to be a song, Philly song, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Philly song, I'm like, okay, so what about this can I take? It's, it's a line, you know, and with music, you know, we create a melody, which essentially is a line of music. So, you know, a good way that I can use this to help me is like, okay, this is straight, this is kind of in the same, um, you know, on the same line, so this can be like a whole note or something. And then, since this is going out, this could be like a running pattern that I can write or whatever in here. And then as far as mood, you know, the sun is shining here, so there's some shade right here. When I'm, um, maybe when I'm writing this song, I can think of happy things, you know. There's certain notes and scales that you can use to give the impression of happiness, sorrow, you know, day and night. So then maybe when I get to over this part, this could be like a climax of my song <coughs> or of the melody. And then here, kind of take it to like, a moon setting, you know, with the shadow and, you know, change the way that the song goes. And then if I just put a repeat, there's a the song. You know what I mean? So I never really thought a lot about the idea, but once I started working with it, it really opened up and I felt like I wrote plenty of pieces that were significant to me and it built up a different passion and, um, you know, excitement in music for me. You know, I was like, well, I'm always just playing stuff and I'm not always agreeing with what I'm playing. So now I can play my own stuff that, you know, I have a little bit more of an attachment to. And I could, you know, share with others the process. So, you know, this is a method if you guys want to try it out. You know, just look outside. You know, there's times where when I used to live on campus, I would just stand up at the top of a parking lot and just look out and, like, notice all the sounds and stuff like that and kind of use it to... Um, to develop a process to writing music for me, but for you guys, you know, whatever you guys want to take that idea from. So, no questions? No.